As the weather warms, ice becomes less safe. Rachel Perry caught up with a local ice safety advocate who explains how a tragic incident inspired his initiative. And then if you were to fall through, you can quickly unhook these. To Jim Furley, ice right safety there. is no we'll joking matter. Out of the ice. Otherwise, you're just going to slide. Furley and runs somewhat of a column on his Facebook page, Furley Outdoors. In the wintertime, I try to every week get out here and physically measure the ice and, and put a report on what I see. But Furley wasn't always this serious about it. Quite a few years ago when I was living on the lake here, I uh, actually saw two anglers um, float away on a, on a big sheet of ice, and one was rescued and one was killed. As spring approaches, venturing out comes with more risk. The rain events that we've had, um, deep cold, all of that changes the quality of the ice, it increases cracking. The Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources guideline for a truck to be out here is that the ice be at least 12 inches thick. Fairley says even that is a little risky. Even if you have 12 inches of ice in one spot doesn't mean 100 yards away you're going to have 12 inches. So I rarely drive a vehicle out on the ice. Before going out too far, both Furley and the DNR suggest learning about conditions and steps you can take to stay safe. Let people know where you're going and when you should be back. Something to have on you, bring a cell phone with. Only way to know for sure what's underneath your feet is for you to test the ice yourself. That's the only way. In Jefferson County, Rachel Perry, 27 News. For a full list of advice, items to bring, and how to access Furley's page, just head to our website, wkow.com.